Hey everyone, it's Zach. Today we are back with another tech review. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the iPad Pro. But before I do that, I gotta ask you a question. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or any of the combination, or even just one of them. Everything helps uh, me make better videos here. So yeah, the iPad Pro. Uh, so right there, we've got the oop, upside down. Can't really tell though because there's no home button, but hey. So we're gonna first take a look at the iPad Pro, get that unboxed and we'll see how it is, okay? So in Apple fashion, nice and easy. Let's get the packaging undone. I'm just doing that right to the microphone for some sensory overload. Yes, ASMR or whatever, okay. So iPad Pro uh, came out uh, about six months ago, somewhere around there. Uh, this one is the 11 inch, as I said. Uh, it starts at 799 US or 999 Canadian with the 12.9 inch coming in at 999 US or uh, 1299 Canadian. So there we go. This one is the 256 gigabyte model, which in Canada ran uh, about 12.99. Yeah, 1249, somewhere around there. Anyways, uh, so it's got, uh, starts to 64, goes up to one terabyte of total storage. We are dealing with a 11 inch viewable space. It's a little less, Apple says, but about 11 inch screen there. It's an IPS display. Resolution is uh, 2,388 by 1668 with a total PPI of 264. ProMotion display on this one, and we've got the True Tone display as well, so it's gonna be constantly looking at the environment around you in terms of the color and uh, the tone, and the, the color temperature, sorry, of everything around you, to then adjust the color on the display to make it easier on your eyes there. So we're booting that up there. Um, we've got a few contacts there. We've got the three on the back for the um, Apple smart cases and other various accessories if they do come like the Logitech keyboard, I believe. We also have the wireless charging magnetic connection for the Apple Pencil. Wanna make sure you use the second generation Apple Pencil. We've got Apple's uh, camera, 12 megapixel camera, smart HDR 4K. So we've got the lock and unlock button there, as you see. Push the button and we've got unlocked, still needs to be set up there. And then we've got the four speakers. So the one of the benefits in terms of audio quality that this one has over the new iPad Air or new iPad is that it does have the four um, speakers providing you with a surround sound like a stereo experience when you're listening to music or watching content there. And then in the box we've got the typical design by Apple, higher watt USB-C on one end charger and then the USB-C cable. Okay, put that aside. One of the accessories that you have that you can get for your iPad is the smart case. Um, you can also get the keyboard from Apple uh, that has the ability to talk to the connection ports there. So you don't have to worry about charging it and doing that kind of stuff there. Okay. So, um, Apple leather, I got the black one, or the gray one, I guess, possibly. It's pretty close to either or. Oh, a new iPad. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, pretty easy. The, one of the other things, too, is that Apple bumped up the magnets in the new iPad. So, literally, you just quick and easy. And it's strong. It's holding it. It's not going anywhere. And then it'll turn it off when it's in the case there as well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this set up there and, and test it out. And you can expect a full review in the next couple weeks on Apple's 11 inch iPad Pro. Hopefully you enjoyed the video there. And, and if you did, give me a, a thumbs up, like I said, but if you didn't, thumbs down, that's cool. But also let me know what you didn't like so I can better, you know, better produce these videos and whatnot in the future. All right, thank you, enjoy the video, and see you again in another one.